Hey guys, this is Coffee Chug, and I'm here to share with you how to share your Tinkercad files with me so we can get them printed. And if you are not part of my school, the operation that we do, this is a tip that you can use with your friends and teachers that you work with. So, um, in the, I guess I'll call it the old version of Tinkercad, when you got to the place where all your designs were be are showcased, you could go in right here to this gear, and this is still one option. You could go into Actions and choose Properties. And when you're in Properties, you have to make this public. And by doing that, anybody can see it. So what can happen with this when you do that, that work, I don't know, it's going to be a little slow here, is now you can open up your design right here, and you can copy this web address, and you can then email it to me, and I could then 3D print it for you. Um, there's a newer way, and the way that I really, really encourage you to go about doing this. And so let me show you this. So if I'm working here in my fidget spinner for Moana, for my daughter, um, and I want to share this with you. So this is your design that you want me to 3D print on our machine. Um, the new feature in the Tinkercad beta, which is, to me, beyond amazing. I need to do some follow-up videos with this. But for now, you just want to know how to share. Is You can click this share button here or this icon up here either way is the same and you can add people and so you can email me this link and I can start to edit it I can collaborate and so here's here's why sometimes you guys send me prints and there's gaps or spaces and I can go in without having to email you and waiting another day I can go in and edit your file and clean it up just a little bit so we can get to the printing um, and so this part is really exciting you would just copy this and you could just email it or you choose this person right here, and uh, you can go ahead and just make it work. So either way, this icon here or the share, this allows me to make changes to the design if needed, which just saves time on both ends of our part. So in the new Tinkercad beta, that's what I want you to do. Right here, again, person or share, but in the old way also works, and you just email it to me, and I can get it loaded up and sent to you. All right, guys, this is just one more way in which Tinkercad continues to get better and better and better, and one more way in which we can work together to help you students bring your ideas to life. Have a great day.